Welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. Alright, so today we're going to build the injection machine. Basically the machine injects plastic into a mold. And it's best suited to make small plastic objects. And since we're working with molds, you can easily replicate them and start a small production. In this video we will guide you how to build the machine, let you know which are crucial points in the building process, and give you a few tips and tricks. Before you get started, you should download all the technical information and the blueprints. And if you have any other questions or something is unclear, feel free to post a topic in our forums. Now, let's get started. So, that's the machine we're gonna build, the injection machine. Then we're going to weld it and then it will fit perfectly. All right, so we finished the hopper and now we're going to make the barrel. And this is the most crucial part of the machine. It's where the plastic gets heated and pressed. So the core of this barrel is a pipe and it's based on the universal plumbing system. So make sure the dimensions are accurate. And one of the things to pay attention to is that most tubes are welded. So you get this little welding line in here. So make sure to get an extruded pipe which is completely smooth from the inside. Okay, so we finished the hole in the tube. And now we need to tap some wire on this. Every plumber should have this, so it should be easily available. If your tube is slightly too thick, you can sand off a little and then uh, make it work. Let's do it. So we finished up the wire on the barrel, made a hole, we sanded it up, and now we're gonna connect the little holders. All right, so we finished the hopper and the barrel, and now we're going to focus on the nozzle. This is where the plastic gets injected in the mold. And luckily, this is the most easiest part of the machine. So since we're using the plumbing system, uh, the cool thing about this is that you can have all different kinds of weird elements that fit on here. And we use these things for the nozzle. We like to use this one in combination with this one. They fit together perfectly and they don't leak. And we customize this little part, make it flat, drill a hole, and we weld this one on top of a mold. So in this way we can perfectly add the nozzle to the mold without any leaks. Alright, so we finished the hopper, the barrel and the nozzle. And now we're going to build the framework. 
It seems like a lot of work, but it's quite doable. Okay, so we cut out all the parts for the framework. It's pretty straightforward, some metal tubes. And we're gonna weld them together according to the technical drawing. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so it uh, is all uh, everything is made and assembled together. Make sure it all works and everything fits. And now we're gonna sand it off, give it a paint job, and put some wood inside. Uh. Okay. So the frame is ready, painted, and now we're gonna put everything in. Everything works. Now we're gonna make the electronics. All right. So we finished the hopper, the barrel, the nozzle, and the framework. And now we need the last part, which are the electronics. This is what heats up the plastic and we can measure our temperature. First, we're gonna build this little box and then we're gonna wire up everything to the machine. We cut out all the pieces for the control box and we made this one out of metal because we have the tools around and I kind of like it when it's strong. But you can also make it from another material like wood or plastic or laser cut it. Uh, but we're gonna weld this together and finish the box. Text on. So we finished the box and now we're going to install all the electronics. We start with a switch to turn on the electricity. We have a light that goes on as well, so you can see it's on. Then we have the sensors and these will measure the temperature, which will be transferred into the controller. And here you can select the temperature you want. This will transfer a signal to the solid state relay, which will heat up your heating elements. And these will go around the barrel. So we're gonna wire it all up, add the cables, and put it in the box, install it on the machine. So We connected the electronics to the machine and now we're gonna connect all the sensors and heating elements. We're just gonna slide them up here and attach them. We have two different temperature controllers and two different sensors. These are connected to the top sensor and the nozzle is to the bottom. That's because we want this one to be slightly higher temperature. So we want to make sure that one sensor is connected one sensor is connected to the bottom one 
and one to this one right here. So we can measure both temperatures in a different range. Quick test. Here we have the injection machine and we already poured in some plastic and now we're going to heat it up and we're going to do that by turning it on and setting the right temperature and it depends which temperature you need on the type of plastic you're working with. So we're going to set it, wait for about 10 minutes and then we're going to inject. The machine is heated up. And as you can see, the nozzle is slightly higher temperature than the others. That's because you want to give it an extra boost before it hits the mold. So let's give it a shot. So as you can see, the injection ran pretty well. Uh, the color is good, nice texture and it didn't smoke, so we have the right temperature settings. However, usually we don't inject plastic like this, but we screw a mold underneath and then we'll squeeze the plastic inside here. And in this way we can create all sorts of small little objects. All right. Thank you for watching the video, I hope everything was clear. If it wasn't, feel free to post the topic in our forums. And one thing to note is that the machines are built in a modular way, which means you can always upgrade or repair them, but also customize them to your needs. So if you happen to make a hack or customization, we would absolutely love to see it, because in this way we can all work together to create better machines. In the next video we're going to make molds and show you how to create things with these machines. And for now, thanks for watching, good luck with building, and hope to see you in the next Precious Plastic video.